Well, we should be able to find some parts here. I'm Maya, and this is Aladino. We're refitting a Cape George 36 in the USA to get her ready for an around-the-world voyage. But since neither of us are American, we've had to leave our boat for several months to reset our US visas. And now the time has finally come to cross the border once again and return to our boat with a little stop along the way. Although I always get so nervous by the US border, so we'll see how it goes. It's been about six months in real time since we've seen our boat. I know it hasn't been that long for you guys, but it's been a long time for us. I had checked and rechecked all the COVID restrictions and I was pretty sure we were good to go. But with our boat on the other side, there was a lot riding on this. For Canadians, the crossing is pretty easy, but Europeans always need to go to secondary to get a stamp in their passports, which also means lots of added time, questioning, and a small fee to pay for the privilege. But I guess at the moment, I'm just glad that it's open at all. I am really excited to actually be able to drive across the border now, though, because last time we went to the States, the only way in was flying. Somehow, due to COVID, they closed all the land borders, but now they're open, so I get to have my own car in the States. I've owned this car since I was 19, I think, and I'm so proud of it. It's a little 1999 Mazda Protégé, and it just doesn't quit. We made it through the border just fine. And actually, I guess because of COVID, we were the only car at the crossing. So we didn't have to wait at all. All right, we've made it. We're, we're on the American side of things. Only for three tiny months though, but I'm pretty excited. And uh, let's see where this leads us to. And now we're going to take you oh. to a rather exciting place. Your destination is on the right. Here we are. So we are in Linden at the moment and here there is a sailboat wrecking yard. We just want to get an idea of what they have. There is cut up sailboats. Let's see what this place has in store for us. Wow, so many rudders. <laughs> Part salvage yard, part marine thrift shop, this little place in Linden has a lot to offer. After stripping old boats of all their usable components, they put them all up for sale. And if you're working on a boat project, like we are, it's sort of a dream scenario. We weren't looking for anything in particular, but we'd heard about this place and so we just wanted to see what it had to offer. So we wandered around in amazement. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Aladino's heaven. Well, the funny part is we're way too picky for all of this. Too oh small, God. too small, not self-tailing, not bronze. No, that's It's like the thrift store experience, Aladino. You gotta look carefully. Look, there's a lot of bronze ones. They're smallish. They are. But there's a, they're a lot of bronze. Very smallish. A place like this is extremely exciting. But of course, our boat is a little bit bigger than the majority of the boats that they get at the yard here. So I'm not sure how much luck we'll really have finding hardware components that are sized correctly for Magic Carpet 2. But it's still kind of like walking around a wonderland. Yeah, Just cool. winches upon winches. And it's sort of like that wonderful thrift store experience where you also know that you can kind of afford it. So that really just adds to it, because you're like, I could own all of this! <laughs> so this shop basically consists of a whole bunch of just mobile trailers filled with all kinds of different categories of boat equipment, and you just walk along these pathways into different trailers. Here's Did a new one. It? What's here? This is... Tillers. Tillers, old stoves. Steering consoles. Oh, th yeah, that's a whole console behind yeah, me. Yeah, and stoves. To properly visit any kind of thrift store, it's kind of necessary to look at every item because a real gem could be hidden almost anywhere. Aha, some lamps. Now we're talking. I really want a beautiful lamp to hang from the bulkhead in between the galley and the saloon. 
I'm not sure if any of these ones quite fit the bill. I'm thinking of like a trawler lamp, yeah. I think they're called, but. Yeah, nope. Oh, look at this kettle, it's so cute. And this place was a never-ending trove of potential gems, but we didn't quite have the patience to sort through everything this time around. We made a mental inventory of all the kinds of things we could find here for later on in the refit, but we hadn't seen our boat in a long time. And now that we were so close, the excitement had built up to explosive levels, so it was time to leave the salvage yard and hit the road once again, this time Destination Magic Carpet 2. Just how we left it. Look at that. It's a cool boat. <laughs> I don't think I can quite describe what this feels like. Magic Carpet 2 is what all of our future plans and dreams revolve around. And now, finally reunited, the work can resume, every day getting us one step closer towards adventures on the open blue ocean. But wow, it feels good. It feels good to be back. I mean, it feels good, but at the same time, like, we've just spent the past little while relaxing at my parents' place. We've been doing lots of planning for the boat, and I've been doing lots of editing, but we've also been doing a lot of relaxing, seeing friends, seeing family, and I know that now we have to kick our butts into a million miles a, mi a, million miles a minute gear and work super hard. So... It's exciting, but it's also like, all right. Oh, I'm already sore. Now starts three months of intense work. We've only got three months in the States this time because of his visa. It's my fault. So we got to make the most of every day. Can we do it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. We're not finishing the boat this time around. We have no, <laughs> no plans on doing that. But no, but let's close the decks. We're going to close the decks. Are we going to fiberglass over the whole decks and cabin top? Mm, difficult, just uh, weather-wise, unless oh, we do yeah. a lot of heating in here. And the interior, what are we planning for the interior? Mm. Try and get a bunch of that done. Yeah, yeah, as much as we can. Yeah. Yeah, I've got. we've got sort of a schedule that we've talked about. We're going to really work hard, work fast. Hello! Okay, day one back in the workshop and it's just about setting everything back up. We stored things away perhaps too well when we left last time. We also have a few boxes to open, which we're going to get to in just a moment once we've added a bit more organization into this chaos. All right, workshop is set up. Now it's time to get into some planning and really look at what the next few weeks are going to bring us. All right, so for workshop stuff at the moment, I've got paint the V-birth, decide on how to proceed with the saloon and galley balsa, remove the anti fouling remove the fiberglass from the cabin top. We still, we need stain where we're fitting new plywood. Building a fridge here. All the decisions and dilemmas that we'd spent the past several months mulling over now had to be put into practice. Imagining something is always different than the real thing. The vision usually more exciting than the sweat and frustrations of actually doing it. 
but we also knew that we had to dive in and start. We'd be living with the consequences of all our decisions for a very long time. So one thing that I'm very not sure about is what we're going to do with the interior finish of the saloon or the salon and the galley mm -hmm. because I love so much what we did in the V-Birth with the new fiberglass. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. But that's a lot of work. So it's sort of like, of course I would want that done here, but are we going to prioritize that? Our boat is insulated with balsa wood, not cord with balsa, the difference being that the balsa here isn't actually structurally necessary. But the thin layer of fiberglass that had covered the balsa allowed moisture and mold to get in and start discoloring the wood. So in the V-Birth, we stripped away that fiberglass, inspected the balsa, got rid of the mold, and then re-fiberglassed with a lovely new smooth layer. Now it's all sealed and nice, awaiting a fresh coat of paint. Having that done feels like a big sigh of relief. But doing the same thing in the rest of the boat is a lot of work, and we hadn't quite decided if we were actually going to go there. I think that for sure it should be done in the head, mm -hmm. because the head is going to be just naturally a more moist environment, so totally. it's good to have like a really good sealed yeah. layer. Yeah, I agree. And it's already stripped and almost ready to do so. Yeah. Uh, I just have to maybe close two more through walls. Um, in here, I mean, we can also assume that we're ripping out these lockers because um, we're definitely redoing them. So maybe I should start by doing the balsa in the head. Mm -hmm. So that means removing the cabinetry, all the cabinetry in the head. Mm -hmm. And how are you going to start? I will start with closing the decks. Okay. So that entails, it entails the blocking first, yeah. which is so closing the rubber rail holes. Exactly. So you're going to start with closing the rubber rail holes? I think so. Okay. And also upon our arrival, there were a few packages here waiting for us. They will show what is coming in the future. The package that I personally am the most excited about is this one, which arrived to us all the way from Sweden. This one actually has a whole bunch of lighting samples in it. So many options. So yeah. even this box is filled with probably 20 different samples. It's not just about it's dark, make it bright. Uh, there is a lot more to light, but we will dive into that in more detail. Okay. Next thing is a box of paint from Epiphanes. Finally, a little token of, uh, shall we call it? Token of gratitude for, uh, for, for using Epiphanes for centuries, no decades. I'm not that old, but yeah, um, it's, it, it's my go-to. It's my go-to, so I'm very, very happy uh, that they send us a box. Uh, there's six small cans in here, so it's not gonna go super far, but ultimately this is the stuff that we're gonna be using for most of the boat. Yeah, it's a white tone that we like and we- It's have... what's on Magic Carpet. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. that was the test of time for us. And it'll remind us of Magic Carpet when we look at exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot to do. But as our day of organizing and planning drew to a close, I wanted to commemorate this day with a song. I'm excited because this time I actually have my real fiddle here with me. I've only ever played my much cheaper travel instruments on the channel. So this is the Sailing Magic Carpet debut of my pride and joy, my 120-year-old violin. <laughs> 